off the pedestal I don't know what I was thinking Let it be more than drinking And going back to your place Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much I'm messing With my feelings and my heart Oh yeah Yeah that's impressive How much I'm messing With my feelings and my heart Oh yeah I'm going back to the table Where I know they say that I say For the stable friend of mine Cause they know all this time That I was out of my mind Thinking you were the one that it was love feelings was wrong I should've known, I should know I don't know what I was thinking Let it be more than drinking And going back to your place Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution for a lonely Right, you guys, it's been probably like honestly 40 like 40 minutes since I worked out. <sighs> My legs still kind of hurt, but I'm about to watch the challenge on MTV. And my arms, I oh, actually, I gotta stretch because I totally forgot to stretch. I got on my phone like right when um, I finished working out. And then I started watching the challenge, but I then realized that one, I have to make myself some breakfast before I go to my sister's house. And I also have to clean this um, stove. I forgot to clean it last night. Um, but yeah, I have, what was I saying? I don't even fucking know. Um, anyways, I have to make myself breakfast. And then I also wanna fold a few clothes that I have there. But, um, yo, the lighting in here is, is horrible, sorry y'all. Uh, uh, I'm definitely gonna stretch because I do not want to wake up. Come on, come on, late, come back. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, the lighting is bad here, but anyways, yeah, I need to stretch before I wake up tomorrow. And I'm like, y'all, there was once. I think it was right before I went to New York. I literally couldn't extend my arm all the way. I, I was like the. The furthest I could extend it was like here. And then a few days later, like here, and it was just horrible. And it was a stretch actually. Cause I be forgetting to stretch. But yeah, I'm gonna make myself some eggs. And probably eat it with avocado. Uh, should I have bacon? I don't, think, I don't feel like making too much. I think I'm gonna just put um some turkey meat inside of my eggs and a little bit of spinach and call it a day and like i said eat it with avocado <sighs> and then i actually have to post a video but i think i'm gonna post that later on today yo i'm sleepy i just close my eyes and like want to stay like that but yeah uh let me go ahead and make this food and i'll show you guys how it looks like. i was born on the 13th is this a coincidence half of avocado on the side and my egg whites with the spinach and ground turkey with my Dave's killer bread over here and I sprinkled this everything but the salt ah ah don't fall okay and it fell <laughs> what the fuck? 
this everything but the salt mrs dash seasoning on top it's so freaking good and my phone is touching my bag and then i have some grapes on the side where are they they're in there check in here you guys so i am currently in my sister's house and um i've been here for like the past hour i was here talking to her while she was getting ready um she had a meeting to go to and then when she left i wanted to wait like 20 ish minutes or until silas honestly calmed down because he was like crying for his mommy um and i just was like let me wait till he comes down and then ah, coco that is not your toy ah. and i was like let me wait until you know he settles down and then he started playing right here so i was like all right he's cool so now i'm just looking for his crocs this big ass house i don't know where his crocs are but yeah then we're gonna go to my mom's house and i made chicken yesterday for myself and her and her husband like a healthier type of chicken i don't know where they are and i think she has one left so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna eat with that because i wanted to eat it with lentejas and um like which is beans she doesn't have any more but i'm gonna tell her to make more because one they're good and two it like detoxes you tmi and three they're good <laughs> i told her i was like i'll buy some more if you can make that once a week for me girl i will highly appreciate it but anyways i'm gonna continue looking for these mother freaking crocs and then me and sisa are leaving Alrighty, we found the crocs Coco, that is not your toy! <laughs> For the second time, girl. And we're off. Why was I singing that song at nine years old? <laughs> what okay you guys so right now i am about to clean my room honestly like this side of the room looks a little messers yeah so i have this hamper that ha is filled with clothes and sweaters that i gotta put on hangers and another hamper with clothes that i have to fold and i just have like a whole bunch of hangers for no reason sir so, like right in my bed right here it's the kids and i have like a few there too and i have to clean my closet out i need to bring everything from over there over here and just separate clothes that i'm not wearing right now um and uh figure out where the fuck to put that because i don't really have a big closet and i don't really have a lot of storage space in this and this is currently how my closet looks honestly everything that's in here i had it here when this room was just like a storage room slash office or whatever i haven't used any of these clothes in forever I got this freaking bench here that I never open because it won't, like, I don't know where to put it in this house. There's nowhere to really have, like, a workout type of area in this house. And then I have, like, stuff up here. I have to bring this down and see what the heck is there. I, all I see right now is a red dress that I got for a military ball, like, when I lived in Texas. And I still have that. And then a naked Barbie. And then this bag over here. <laughs> I had that book bag that was like my book bag for I don't know why I went like this that was like my book bag for when I gave birth to Jericho um, and I brought that to the hospital and then I have like just random shit so this is the before and I'm gonna clean it out because girl like what is even this I have no space for like comforters and then they were all in here but this is not my closet so I gotta figure out where the freak to put that and then my desk right now is just looking hella cluttered i have just a whole bunch of random shiznit on it like just i gotta clean all right your heart keep it in your pocket for safe keeping don't ever let nobody be the reason you throw it out you stop caring about Sometimes 
have half of the closet filled up and i'm gonna just show y'all how my room looks sorry about the lighting it looks crazy uh whenever i clean i feel like i make more of a mess first and then i just start taking things to where they belong and then folding things and stuff like that <sighs> let me show y'all yep that is my bed and a lot of this stuff i do need to donate because i won't wear again and i don't like um and i've never wore and like what is the point of having it if i never wore it and i'm not like i don't it's not my style anymore so yeah but now i gotta actually pick up Cody's girl so yeah let me run to pee because girl i have been drinking the shit out of water and i've been using the bathroom like every 10 minutes it seems like Alrighty, i picked up Kali's girl and i'm making myself kind of like a burrito bowl i have a tiny bit of rice uh half of an avocado i have some chicken that i made yesterday that i'm gonna put in there i chopped up some romaine lettuce raw burr and then i'm cooking some refried beans which i used to eat this religiously literally every single day um back in alaska um when i was like the most toned i had lost 30 pounds i just felt really good honestly like my main focus was my kids um guy at the time husband at the time and um working out so whenever i was home i was always with jericho and I was working out. And there was times that I even babysat multiple children and I was still working out. I was also 22 years old, so different body, you know? But I used to eat refried beans all the time with chicken and even with fish. I used to make tilapia all the time. Um, so got my burrito bowl over here. It's about that time. I'm hungry, y'all. And my mom didn't have any more lenteja, like I said, which are beans. So I was like, what can I have? Because I kind of want like rice with beans. Because once again, beans is good fiber and it's good for your belly. And so I saw that I have refined beans there. So I made it. Alrighty, I'm going to put a little plop of that. Mm, I'm excited, y'all, because I'm hungry. It's already like almost three, so... And then I'm going to put my everything but the salt seasoning, which is honestly my favorite. And I might put a little bit of dressing. I don't know. I have this guacamole salsa. I might put a little bit of that. And call it a day. You guys. So don't mind the mess in the background because like I said, I feel like I got to sneeze. I'm just moving stuff. Okay. I don't know what it is about me, but I like to keep things for memories. Like, why? Why? Like, I get it's cute and stuff because I do like when my mom shows me things from when I was little, but it's like, why? And I don't even have a tapa for this. Like, I would put it in my shed. Like, what is this? Oh, my dirty 30 stuff. So, when I turn 30 years old, literally all of the props and stuff that my sister bought. I kept this right here that used to be Jericho's. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of him with it. I, if I don't put it up, it's probably because it, I had to scroll too far. But I don't know if it's like a Latino thing or what, but I was always told to get your son's haircut, after, like his first haircut after his first year. And I, I don't even have to like read this, I remember his dad cutting his hair probably like a month before like he cut all of his curls off and so i was like oh my god i was like disappointed and then i saved the hair that was on the ground is that weird but it literally says here daddy just chopped your hair off march 31st 2015 11 p.m and it says mommy helped because i guess i i helped cut the rest of the hair i don't know and then this was my gown from when i gave birth to jericho like what in the world what is this is this jericho or kalia nope this is jericho a sonogram from when i was pregnant with jericho 20 weeks december 10th 2013. literally the socks like what <laughs> i saved so much stuff 
Like, if it was important to me at that moment, I would save it. Her first uniform, this is Jericho's from when he was five or six. I don't remember. Kalia's blanket. Once again, I'm like sniffing it to see if it has any smell to it. Like uh, that baby smell. And it does not. One of Kalia's little rags. Another one, I saved one of Kalia's thingies. Just like I saved Jericho's. I don't think I have to scroll that far to find Kalia's picture for when she had this. Um, Y'all, so much stuff. These are Kalia's shoes from when she started walking. Because these are like the walking shoes. Jericho's cap and gown from kindergarten. Jericho's first um, locker uniform and Alina. Alrighty, you guys, this is my closet now. Perfect. And I still have some stuff here. I gotta bring that that into the closet, and then I have some clothes that are folded under there, and some over here that I'm going to send to the military public. Uy, que lindo! It looks so nice. I feel like it looks better in person, but I love looking at the sky. Am I the only one? Especially when the stars come out, I just be like stargazing. Anyways, I'm going next door to my mom's house because she cooked. So this is basically the same as my lunch, just with a drumstick and white, uh, white rice and yellow rice with corn. What is that? White rice, yellow. What is that on the side? I am exhausted. I'm so exhausted. No, put on other pants. We're about to go to Dollar Tree. Leah's trying to come, so she's changing right now. I'm also going, yeah, you could put those on. We're going with my mom. She needs a couple things, and I'm just so tired. I still got stuff on my bed, and I'm like, bro, like, a lot of the clothes, like, honestly don't fit me. Sorry, the light is off. A lot of clothes honestly don't fit me. I brought my sneakers in here too, by the way. I don't know if you guys even know. I, I didn't have that there. I had, um... Sorry, I'm taking up my pants. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Girl, my mind is just everywhere. Oh, a lot of the like clothes honestly do not fit me. And I'm like thinking to myself, like, I obviously want to keep them because my goal is to lose some weight. You know, to lose inches, whatever you want to call it. Fit into the clothes that don't fit me, you know? There's literally clothes here that is just like a size under or just like half a size under and i just don't like the way that it fits right like i could technically wear it i just don't like the way that it fits but yeah i have some folded clothes right here i have folded clothes right there and it's like summer clothes this is what i mean damn i wish i could really see the stars that i'm looking at there's like these three stars that are always together and i used to call them three sisters i don't know why but uh they're like somewhere here i don't know if you guys can see them but Whenever y'all see those, think of me, y'all. And there's like a really, really faint star to the right of it. So I guess it's four. And yeah, I love it. Y'all, I'm tired. Like today I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna have some good ass sleep. By the way, my mom, she be throwing it down, y'all, in the kitchen. Anyways, come with us to Dollar Tree. Everybody would be like, oh, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. So, okay, that's cool. But tú ve que everybody does it. Tú no me puedes comprar algo chiquito. Like, y yo estaba pensando. Precious cargo. Be careful with my heart. Oh, say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense if it's right for me. Let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall Yeah, sometimes you fall We're at my sister's house. Kalia got Silas a balloon <laughs> in Dollar Tree because she got herself a Valentine's Day balloon because it was a heart. Kalia, why are we here? Tell them. Because we're gonna give Silas my balloon that I found out. And there was only one more. So I, I look. 
I feel my brain and it told me Toma. to get one of it. Hold it, hold oh, it. Oh, you, you, she said I felt my brain and it told me to get one of it. How about Joel? He's cute. Oh my god, Coco's gonna walk this way. <laughs> she saw it in Dollar Tree. Look, Silas, look what Kalia got you. A pop, a pop Patrol balloon. Wow, chai chai. You like it? No, really? That's so Silas. That's such a Silas answer. It's mad loud in here. Carla, she and stuff, she's showing it to us before she leaves. Look at this. Before, she, before, before I leave. I'm tired, okay? Wow. Is that the one for, that you're going to wear with the gold shirt? But in the picture, they look big, though. Like, they look like that was the style. Okay, but... Alrighty, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys made it to the end of this vlog... Comment down below like a t-shirt emoji so that I can know you guys made it to the end of this vlog. And I appreciate y'all if you did. And let me know if I'm not the only one who'll be like saving things. Like literally if somebody gives me a letter, I'm gonna save it. If somebody like a note, like a freaking post-it. Uh, uh, my friend the other, when I went to New York the other day, well you know a couple weeks ago. She gave me this little like tiny like a hundred dollar bill. It's like a fake hundred dollar bill. And it was just mad funny. Like, we kept laughing about it um, because there was, like, certain things we were talking about and she kept, like, giving it to me. And I literally saved that. Like, just things that, like, I will... That have, like, a story behind it or, you know, like, sentimental things. Like, I be keeping everything. I even have my baby girl, um, my dog, Casey, when she passed away. Uh, the night before, I had, like, cut a little bit of her hair and I have a little bit of her hair. Like, I just be keeping stuff. And then when I'm cleaning, I'm like, damn, do I really need this stuff? And it's like, yes, girl, you do. But, like, they're literally, my kids are only 10 and 5 years old. Like, girl, there's so many years, God willing, that, you know, I'm going to be their mommy. And I'm going to be keeping my stuff. Anyways, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys will see me later. Like I always say, surround yourself with people who truly love you and show you that they love you. And I put like a little clip on there of me and my mom talking about like people on Valentine's Day. There there have been people in my life that I dealt with that would like talk about how like Valentine's Day is like dumb and it's not important and stuff like that. And I totally get the whole like, you know, not wanting to go out because it's, it's more expensive on that day or like buying flowers is more expensive on that day. But it's like, and how Valentine's Day should be every day. Like I get it, but you also should get a little something. I, I saw like a TikTok of this girl that went to Dollar Tree and she was like, yo, if your man does not get you nothing for Valentine's Day, like he really does not care about you. Because you can't just spend $1.25 on a couple balloons or, you know, obviously it's going to be more than that. But like a couple balloons, a couple chocolates or like, let's say she says she liked a certain bracelet, like get her that bracelet. Eat, like things that are thoughtful, you know, things that like, let's say they, the person likes graphic tees like me. I like some graphic tees, you know what I'm saying? I like flowers like you can't just get that, but it just shows a lot, you know, and it says a lot. So just throwing that out there, girl, because come on. I remember honestly, like I'm gonna keep it a bug. Like last Valentine's Day, the person that I spent it with, I remember this person used to say that he that he liked what you call it caps like dad hats and stuff like that got him some dad hats got him like so a uh, self-help book and stuff like that and i got some candy and i was appreciative because i'm like you know I, I was appreciative like I, I got candies and stuff like that but i'm like i'm i've always been the person that like if a person is just talking about certain things that they like or you could just see the things that a person likes i used to, i always write it down on my notes literally like if i'm talking to somebody and they're just telling me like certain things that they like i'm like okay this person like likes these pairs of sneakers you know this person like has always wanted these pair of products or whatever the case may be i'll write it down and i said products for because i just thought about something but like i'll literally write it down because i'm like okay for valentine's day you know check i could get this for that person's birthday check our anniversary check like you know i've just always been that thoughtful type of person and now I, like i'm going on a tangent now <laughs> but now i'm not settling for less especially if i know how i am as a, a person as a partner i would want that in return and more you know 
Anyways, I love y'all, and you guys will see me later. Surround yourself with good energy, y'all. Peace out.